welcome back to my channel Janelia MJ. Today I'm going to show you how to do a um, couple of effects that you can use while doing your watercolor painting. So this is going to be a um, tip or like a helpful tutorial for you to know what kind of effects you can use while doing any kind of portraits or any kind of loose watercolor paintings. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified every time I post a new video. Now let's get started. So for the first effect I'll be using table salt. Now I'll link all the materials that I'm using today in the description box below. So I'll be um, loading my brush with water and picking a color so that I can demonstrate the effect that it gives. So now it's time to add in the salt. So while your paper's still wet, go ahead and add in the salt. And make sure to completely dry before removing the salt from the paper. Now once the paint is completely dried, remove the salt using a brush. So this is how the effect will be if you add salt. It will give this icicle cool effect. You could use this for doing any kind of icy backgrounds or any kind of art. Next effect is using cling wrap. So I'll be wetting my paper um, and then I'm blending in my two colors. Now um, this time when I was trying to do the effect to demonstrate what exactly happened was um, the print like the effect didn't come out very um, good so if you would like to see the exact results of the um, effect go check out my latest shot video now once uh, finished blending go ahead and cut a small piece of cling film now place the cling film on top of the blended area so this is going to help us to give the effect so once uh, the paint is dried you can remove the cling wrap and this is how the results would be and it'll give this icicle effect. As I said, go check out the actual results in my new short video. The next effect is wet on wet. So wet on wet is um, a technique that is very useful um, for creating um, blur backgrounds in any kind of um, loose watercolor um, um, paintings. And this uh, main effects reason is that once you uh, dab in all the colors, it'll bleed in together. It'll do its own magic. And create a beautiful background now the last and final um, effect will be highlights so I'll be showing you two ways to do highlights one I'll be using a damp wet brush some people think that adding highlights you will definitely need white watercolor paint but it does not work so instead of using a white um, watercolor paint you could just use a um, damp brush to lift up some paint so it creates white areas and that creates highlights now the last and final way to do create highlights is um, by using a tissue. Now using a tissue is quite helpful like if you use tissues you can lift up paint like watercolor paints especially super duper easy and using a tissue paper to create highlights is also really good for larger areas such as if you're going to create clouds you won't be able to use white paint so you could use your tissue to lift up some paint so as you see there it creates a light cloudy effect but still a little misty now another tip is that when you do any mistake in your um, artwork using watercolors you could just easily lift up the watercolor paints by just using a tissue now I hope whether this video was helpful for you knowing all the different effects and this will be very useful for all the portraits and watercolor paintings in you. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.